Low their grade 3. Okay, so for today, we are going to learn how to subtract money. In this case, when we subtract money and when we talk about money, it is actually possible for us to include decimals. What do you mean by decimals? Decimals, yan yung point na yan. So for example, let's say $50.20. Okay. Or $50.20. Okay. Kasi mabasa kasi to in two ways eh. This can be read as $50.20 at $50.20. Or fifty dollars and twenty cents. Ganyan lang yan ang pagbasa sa kanya. And this point over here that you see is called a decimal. Okay, so yan ang ibig sabihin yan. So how do we subtract numbers with decimals? So technically, this is subtracting numbers with decimals. Actually, the same lang yan ha. The same lang yan pat kahit ang adding. So, technically this rule will apply also even if you're going to add numbers with decimals. Number one rule. So, for example, we have $42.30 minus $20.15 First things first, you need to rewrite it Vertically, downwards, where their decimals should assign. Ah, sorry, align. The decimals should align. Anong assign? Bakit ko na sabi ang assign? Decimals should align. So if the decimal for forty-two point thirty is here, it should be aligned for the twenty point five, which is there as well. Okay, ganyan dapat pag magsasolve tayo. I'm gonna show you another example after this one para makita lang natin yung concept. Okay? So, we have 42.30 minus 20.15. Okay. So, ganyan lang. Since na-assign, na, hindi na naman. Since na-align na ang decimals natin, our answer should also have a decimal aligned to 42.30 and 20.15. Okay. So, then from here, proceed na kayo sa usual subtraction process natin. So, 0 minus 5 cannot be. Of course, you cannot take away 5 from 0. Uh, hindi pwede. If you have no pencils at all, how can someone borrow 5 pencils from you? So, you borrow from 3. 3 will become 2 and 0 will become 10. 10 minus 5 will basically give us 5. 2 minus 1 will give us 1. 2 minus 0 will give us 2. 4 minus 2 will give us 2. So our final answer here is $22.15. Okay, since uh, dollars yung pinag-usapan natin, not farts, not uh, whatever else. So we're talking about dollars talaga. Okay. So, pwedeng, pwedeng peso. It depends. Pero yun na nga. The given is dollars kasi. So, yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, Teacher Mark, why, what made you say that we have to align the decimal? So, kunwari, we have 3.25 plus 0 0.3617. So, if you're going to do this process, plus to ha, I'm going to show you two ways. One is minus using the same number para makita nyo lang yung logic. Okay. So, in this case, again, ano yung rule natin for adding and subtracting decimals? We have to align the decimals. So, we have 3.25 and 0 0.3617. Na teacher mark, this number over here exceeded more than the other number. It's okay. Yeah, my general rule ako dito when it comes to decimals, no? If there are extra spaces, fill them up with zero. Okay, yan ang number one rule natin. Fill them up with zero. Then proceed with the addition process. Kasi since addition tayo. Zero plus seven will give us seven. Zero plus one is one. Five plus six is eleven. Carry over one. 
uh, 3 plus 2 will give us 6 plus, I mean, 5 plus 1 is 6. And of course, the decimal should be there. Kung walang decimal, then your answer is wrong. Okay? But, teacher Mark, why? Because the, the numbers are just the same. Yes. But it makes a, a, a very big difference. For example, 3.6117 is different from 36,117. In terms of pesos, so that you can relate in money, 36,000, what would you rather have? 36,117 or 3 pesos? So that's the importance of the decimal in terms of your answer. Okay? Ngayon naman sa subtraction. Again, you have to write them vertically. So that's 3.25, aligning their decimal places, 0 0.3617. Teacher Mark, there are spaces again. Ano yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina? If there, there are extra spaces, what do we do? We fill them up with zeros. And our sign here is minus. 0 minus 7, not possible again. So we borrow from 0. Unfortunately, you cannot borrow from nothing. If your classmate doesn't have a pencil, zero pencil, how will you borrow from that classmate? <laughs> oh, diba? So, mangyayari is that this zero will borrow from five, the next number. Five will now become four and this zero will become ten. So, in this case, now this zero can borrow from this number over here. So, 10 will become 9 as 0 borrows from it and 0 will become 10. From here, this is just an example, a good thing nga kasi wala kayong ganyan sa book ninyo. Maybe in the future when you reach like a grade 4 maybe, uh, I will be giving you more of this para pang practice lang. So anyway, going back, this is just to show you the logic of how you add and subtract decimals, okay? So 10 minus 7 is equivalent to 3. 9 minus 1 is 8. 4 minus 6 cannot be, so we need to borrow from 2 again. 2 will become 1, and 4 will become 14. 14 minus 6 will basically give us 8. And 1 minus 3, hindi pwede, di ba? Then again, 1 minus 3, hindi pwede. So we borrow from 3, 3 will become 2, and 1 will become 11. So 11 minus 3 will give us 8. Wow, lucky 8, 8, 8. And then again, for our answer, we need to align the decimals. So the decimals should be there as well. And bringing down the last uh, value, which is in this case, is 2. Kasi 2 minus 0 is just 2. Okay, so uh, just to give you a heads up, if you notice, no, for pages 125, if you're going to check your books, no? 125, uh, 127... And 128. If you observe, all of them are breaking down uh, the value of dollars and cents. Some only dollars. So, what I want you to do here is not to do that process. Okay, I don't want you to break down their values for those pages that I mentioned. I want you to write them like how we did here. Write them vertically and do the following uh, operation, which is in this case is subtraction. Okay? Why? Para mag-practice lang muna tayo. Breaking down can help you, pero in reality, in real life, you, you tend to not do this at all. Pero at some point, nagagawa ninyo. Pero yun na nga, because since you are still starting with this point, I don't want you to adapt with uh, different types of approaches. I want you to deal with this standard way of subtracting muna, which is yung ito na nga ginawa natin dito. Okay? Again, for pages 125, 127, and 128, kindly do this process that we did. Write them. You can use the space sa side. May mga space na, malaki naman yung space at sa side lang. So, make use of that part. And you may now start answering your remaining pages of the worksheets. Good morning.